my lord bishop and the clergy, distinguished ministers here present, members of, of parliament, including those who may have attended the ninth parliament where I was, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Ken Lukams the man. <laughs> I find difficulties to hold this microphone to speak. I therefore would like to thank the Bishop for the summer of his story you have presented. The late Olanya was a distinguished friend of John Ken Lukams. So much so that when he learned I was, that I was a, a student at Makere University at a mature age in law, he was persuaded to find out whether it was real. And he made sure that when I graduated at my reception, I think he, Okuda is here, who, who was my fellow student at Makere University School of Law, he made sure that he attended as my chief guest at the graduation ceremony. I would like to pay tribute to Olanya for having chosen to love me the way he loved me. When my daughter in the diaspora was introducing in Mutundwe, I invited him jokingly to be the guest of honor. He also came and honored the function. The couple, Liz and his hus her husband, have promised that if I knew if they will not be here, they will send a special message on Wednesday at Corona. Distinguished guests, it is important for us to know people who have made history, if they have made history. The late Olanya chaired the parliament for only a few occasions, but whenever he chaired, he had a substantial mediation. The late Olanya was a debater with a spectacular prowess in oratory. Whenever he talked, he commanded. The late Olanya was a man of joy, was a man of passion, and a man of sentiment. He was a politician of adventure, and he was, in my own assessment, if I'm not biased, he has been one of the most outstanding speakers of our time since independence. The late Olanya is a man who wanted to learn all the time. He, whenever he spoke, those who are his clerks still remember that there are times when he stopped them that would be controlling the bell, not them, when Ken Jams is speaking. <laughs> who am I? <laughs> so I stand here to pay tribute to him and to pray to Almighty God that he braces him. The late Olanya finally was a great lover of nature and environment. On a number of occasions, I narrated the poems of excitement. And uh, he wanted me to repeat them, which I could not, because they would lose meaning if repeated. So I'm dedicating a great poem titled Uganda is Paradise to the late Olanya. And pay attention, please. <laughs> Uganda is a land of the sun. It is a land of the zebras. It is a land of the lions. It is the parlor of Africa. At the Maxon Falls, when the waters flow, the lions roar, the drafts yawn, and the rains fall. Uganda is a nation of many nations with diverse peoples, diverse cultures, the Achoris, the Bora dance, the Arul, Kalamachongo, Abanyangkori, Abachika. There are also kings, Ruwot, of Achor, Emorimon, of Tesla, Chavazinga, of Busoka, Adola, of Singa, Avakama, of Toro, of Winyoro. In Uganda, the Kabaka reigns, he does not rule, but he still commands. 
They also built the African schema, the shipping stock, the fish eagle, the crested crane, the crested crane, the crested crane. We have really done my work in selling Uganda within a few seconds. My work is to sell Uganda tourism and he has done it all. Thank you so much, Honorable Kendall Chamosi.